Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day four of the Talk Talk tournament. So, me and Martin, we have planned out a strategic plan today to get as much points as we can. So, we're probably going to head north from the area we're at. Um, we've already done really well. Like we sat out around 7.30 in the morning and we've completed so many challenges, like got a photo with the police, I got to drive a bakery, tuk-tuk, um, and we're just at a place now. We're staying at a local's place, had some food, and got a photo of some more wood carvings. But guess what? We're still, we're still in the lead. We're still number one. So we're going to make it stay that way and just try as hard as we can. So let's do this. Yes. Where is this taking us? We're just... Alright, this is now not a track. We're just in someone's yard. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that's proper, that one. We seem to be having troubles finding someone, so we gotta find a tuk tuk wood carver. But like the location has taken us is not right, and the locals around here they just don't speak any English. So I think there may be a back way we can get to though, so we'll see. Alright, so for some reason we couldn't even find that tuk tuk wood carver, so we're not even gonna bother wasting our time. But we've got one long stint now, so we are heading north, 38 minutes, so let's hit the road. So we come to our next quest spot, which is some temple, but we just noticed that there was guys, there's this truck right here, just up here, just driving up, and then all these poles just fell straight out of the back of the truck. But one of the challenges was help a local, so we'll give them a hand. Sorted. Don't want to leave this here, do I? Nice. What is this? Whoa. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oops, this is one. That's one big piece. Yeah, me. Oh, oh what is this? Oh, thank you. Beetle. Oh. Beetle. Beetle. Huh? It's like a plant. Oh, beetle. <laughs> beetle nut. Beetle nut. Mm. Nice. Thank you. Mm hmm. Solid. Oh, the good stuff. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Oh, nice people. Oh, so we just had the best local experience. So when those guys, all those poles fell off the back of the truck, we gave up and gave them a hand. And then after that, they like really appreciated about it and just started giving us all this food. <laughs> so they gave us brownies, bananas, coconuts. Um, and when I had the coconut, they cracked it open for me to like scoop out the coconut um, stuff. But they put some honey in it. But the honey here is does not taste like honey. It dead set tasted like I don't know how to explain. It was like a fatty barbecue sauce. It had like a smoky taste to it, but. Very bizarre honey, but such a great local experience.
Alright, so we have come to the pond of youth. How was it, mate? What? Is it fresh? It's, it's, I, don't, I don't know why it's called pond of youth. It's not really much of a pond. And then there's like a pool over there. I think all this water like connects along. So that's the pool of youth. I don't know. Let's go for a swim though. Yeah. Hobo shower. <laughs> So this right here is a true budget backpacker shower. This is how we do it. Oh. 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 Woo, that was a very refreshing four points. So on with, oh, there's a monkey, there's a monkey. Have, have we got a photo of a monkey? Oh, we have. Look at this monkey. There's a monkey. Oh, he's got a really red face. Here we go, we're going full off road here. Martin's got it, go mate, go. Look at this bad boy. Ew. What a machine, what a machine. <laughs> Who needs four wheel drive when you can have a three wheel drive? All right, so this quest was a visit the lake and animal sanctuary. So the lake is right behind us. Pretty big lake, but animal sanctuary, we've got to find that. But with this one, we get seven points. So ones with seven points, that's a lot. That's that's up there for getting the most points for one quest. But I can kind of see why, because it was really hard to get up this place. <laughs> it was just up the most sketchiest road ever. All right, so lake, let's see if we can find the animal shop. All right, sorted. Let's get out of this road. And head back down that sketchy road. Let's go. Yeah, we're back onto the shitty little dirt roads. Ah, I got a land leech on me. Look at it. This is the first time I've had one of these land leeches on me. Oh, yuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> you got that one? Oh no. Is this clay? Holy crap. Oh this is clay as. Look at deep <laughs> we're like bog bogged. Oh we're really stuffed here. Like look at look at this mud. It is just thick, sloppy mud. We try to get the fastest run up we could, but <laughs> it's good to quite make it and we're still bloody mugged so we're going to try to ram some stuff underneath the tyres to um, get a little bit of momentum. Alright. We got it, we got it out. Uh, me, me, I had it filming on my GoPro, but the GoPro just cut out. <laughs> these guns, fellas, these guns can get anything out. So all we had to do, like, I was sort of outside of the tuk-tuk, and we're like rocking it back and forth, rocking it back and forth to sort of jump over the mud, but we managed to get it out. <laughs> but now, right, look at all this mud. Look at this, look at the tire. We're not getting up there, no. Oh, no, no way, we're getting up there. And like, there's, there was no other sort of roads to go down. Like, no. And then we're gonna have to just go back down that same shitty road we're at. I think we just, yeah, call our losses and maybe try to get back to the main road. It's 
quick as possible because it's not good. <laughs> we have really stuffed up here. Like, the map, I don't know where the maps has taken us because where it was taking us literally just led us straight to someone's house. And we still got like another 10 minutes along all these crappy roads. And we're now coming up to this real shit soft stuff again. Um, just go for it, just go for it. We've got it. Just go. Go, 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 go. All right, that was a bit easy. A bit easier going down than coming up. Um, yeah, and to top it off, <laughs> we're running pretty low on fuel and we're in the middle of nowhere. This is definitely not worth five points. <laughs> Alright, so we're at the stage where the fuel has come so low that we actually need to swap over to our spare fuel tank. But luckily, we have a spare fuel tank, and all we need to do is switch over this thing. So, I don't know how much we get out of the spare one, but hopefully, we have enough to at least get us get us to this fuel station. Fuel station, <laughs> we made it. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Look at this. On dead empty. But we made it. We made it to fuel up again. Too big for you. <laughs> it's good, mate. All right, so we have a temple to visit, which is just across this bridge. It costs like 500 to get in, but only one of us is just going to do it to get the photo and go. But oh, I'll have a quick look around the temple as well. It looks pretty cool. It's, it's literally just on this tiny little island. Martin over here, cooking up some dinner. Chef Method. What are we having for dinner, mate? Chef Method. Chicken cocktail. Chicken cocktail. Chicken cocktail for dinner. Good job, Chef. How is it? Lovely. Well, lovely. So this is one of our own challenges at the end of each day, is finding accommodation and finding our own hostel. So I pinpointed a hostel on the maps, but like we can't find. Did you find it? No, no, we can't. We can't find a freaking hostel around this area. So the maps just keeps lying to us today. Why? All right. So after two more attempts of finding a place to stay, we finally found one. It's actually a pretty good spot. We just got two beds to ourselves, and there was only nine hundred for each person. So that was like. About eight Australian dollars per night. So not bad for a quick find. But yeah, I'm glad today's done because it has been quite a miserable shitty day. <laughs> getting bogged was not fun. Going out in the mountains and sort of getting lost throughout the day, that was that that took a fair bit of time um, out of trying to find all the other challenges. But now we have learnt from that and we'll probably won't go out in the mountains if there's other challenges like that. Um, we also have to keep an eye on like how far we go each day because throughout the whole 10 day tournament we have a max 900 kilometer um, limit so if we go over 900 kilometers over the 10 days then it'll be like a penalty uh, so which means they'll take away our points a few of our points and the more we go over they'll just take more and more away so we'll make sure we don't go over that but I'm just going to end it there, guys, because I am absolutely exhausted again. Each day has been a big, bigger one after another. So I'll see you tomorrow on day five of the Tuk Tuk tournament. See you then.